So this is our cover crop trial at Oregon State University. It's going on for three years. Um, today we're at Praying Mantis Farm, and this is our rye veg plot. Um, in this trial, we are trying to develop methods for farmers so that they can test their cover crop and figure out how much nitrogen is getting put into the soil, and that way they can more accurately fertilize. So this year we have five farms, and they are throughout the Willamette Valley. The farms are Mustard Seed Farm, Praying Mantis Farm, Monacucos Farm, Siri Sun Farm, and Western Union Gardens. They're a mix of organic and not organic, and what we were trying to represent in choosing these farms was a variety of soil fertility and um, soil tilth. And, or, and organic matter so that we can really show long-term effects of cover crops in different soils. At the end of this year, hopefully we'll be coming up with a cover crop calculator, um, which they can test, put in their carbon nitrogen analysis of the cover crop and come up with how much plant available nitrogen has been put into their soil. So today uh, we are out at uh, Praying Manis Farm and we are doing the final sampling for the cover crop trial of 2009. Um, this is the third year of, of a three-year trial. Um, we're using quadrats to take samples. They're two feet square. And uh, we have four different plots going on here at Praying Manis. Uh, four reps of each. So there was fallow, vetch, phacelia and vetch, and rye and vetch. And uh, so vetch is our nitrogen fixing crop. So if you can see right here, you can see some of the vetch curled up around the phacelia. So I'm standing in a plot with phacelia and vetch. The phacelia provides something for the vetch to climb up and to uh, get more access to the sun, more biomass, fix more nitrogen. I'll be uh, basically laying this down, trying to pull out anything that doesn't belong inside the square, whose roots are not within the, uh, the two square feet of this quadrat and then I'll be harvesting everything within the square. Trying not to get any soil in the sample, just a biomass of what's above the ground. So this is a finished quadrat, um, trying to get as much of the, uh, the biomass as possible without getting any soil. You see I got a nice full bag of phacelia and vetch. And so we have four different uh, trials, four different reps of each, four quadrats per uh, trial, so 63 more to go. So here we have examples of our phacelia and our rye. This is the phacelia. The phacelia is preferred by a lot of farmers over the rye because it incorporates more quickly because of its hollow stem, as you can see here. It dies very quickly and wilts and can be incorporated more easily into the soil. It's also a really good insectary plant. When this blooms, it'll have some really nice uh, purple blossoms. And then here's our rye. It's also blooming right now with these nice seed heads. This is a lot more tough as you can see. It doesn't break as easily, it's not hollow. Um, so it's a lot harder to incorporate into the soil and takes a, quite a bit longer and possibly quite a few more passes with the tractor to actually get it worked into the soil properly. All right, so this is the day's work, a car full of biomass. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the lab and weigh all of this biomass per plot and get that number and then we're gonna take our subsample of half a kilogram and we're gonna dry that down so that we can get the dry weight and that sample we'll then send off to the lab to get the carbon nitrogen analysis and um, with those three numbers the biomass the dry weight and the carbon nitrogen analysis we can figure out how much plant available nitrogen has been added to each plot from our cover crops.